This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning, here's your Cruise News for Tuesday, January 24th. New York City Mayor Eric Adams has announced that the city will be using the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal as a temporary shelter for migrants. The terminal will provide up to 1,000 single men with housing, food, and medical care until this spring. MSC Cruises is set to begin using the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal as its new U.S. home port this spring when MSC Maravilla arrives. According to local media in New York City, the mayor says the terminal will be ready for MSC's arrival and the migrants will be moved elsewhere. And multiple cruise ships have been turned away from New Zealand waters this season, and Biosecurity New Zealand says it's because the ships have been laid up for a long time, causing organisms to grow on the ship's hulls. If the hull is not up to standards, the ship could introduce unwanted marine pests into the waters surrounding New Zealand. New Zealand's hull requirements are among the strictest in the world, introduced in 2014 and reinforced starting in 2018. And finally, Seabourn is canceling five voyages aboard its new expedition ship, Seabourn Venture, for an unplanned dry dock. According to a statement sent to book guests, all sailings from April 7th to 30th have been canceled because of the ship's stabilizers that are in need of repair. Seabourn is also reimbursing some non-refundable expenses incurred by the guests, such as fees to change flights. Seabourn Venture is currently sailing in Antarctica. And cruise line stocks were flat on Monday. Carnival Corporation, 10.70. Royal Caribbean, 15.54. And Norwegian, 63.36. That's been a long day. Breaking news and industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Do you have a story or a tip to report? Let us know. Email tips at cruiseradio.net.